Well, Barlow World is a multinational corporation with a market cap of 18 billion rand, which owns Caterpillar distributorships in Iberia, Siberia, and across Africa. It also provides car rental, fleet management, and logistics solutions. It has a dividend yield of 2.3% and a price to earnings ratio of 14. Recently interviewing Clive Thompson, it looks as though they're not too concerned about the economic environment because they are so well diversified on the geographical front. When one territory is not doing well, as in Spain, Iberia, they do very well in other emerging markets. Your thoughts? Yes, and also, I mean, recently with acquisitions, etc., they've increased their range of products, especially in the mining sector. And so now they can do everything from the very small to the very large. I mean, I mean, I mean the gigantic machines out there, the multi-million round machines, etc. And it also gives them much more exposure to like deeper, more difficult mining, which I think may be a, a story that will continue for several years going forward. People f forget the fact that one of the reasons that we're seeing supply increase in the mining sector uh, globally is the fact that we are now mining things that were once more marginal, and that's going to create more demand for more difficult uh, kinds of mining equipment, etc. So I'm quite positive on, on that kind of aspect of the company. Of course, let's not forget, we have to talk about the <coughs> yellow capital mm. caterpillar mm. equipment in tandem with Barlow World. Look, we own Caterpillar for our clients in our New York portfolios, and we see it there as one of the sort of preeminent uh, industrial and mining related construction brands. However, the share price is too volatile. And I don't like volatile shares in general because they depress the customers when they go through a five-year slump. So if you argue, well, we own them, so what am I talking about? Well, the fact is we like the globally diversified nature of Caterpillar. For me, Barlow World is too cyclical and the earnings are too volatile precisely because it's construction, as you say, in Spain and Portugal. And as you know, they've got like a million houses too many or something up there. Siberia, I but mean, my goodness. But they're not only in Siberia, Iberia, Spain, and Portugal. Yeah. That's what Clive was referring to, is that they have got widespread geographic diversity. Yeah, diversity. but I mean, if they were to be properly diversified, they would also have a business in America and another one in Australia and mm -hmm. another one in a civilized, well-contained, stable place like Japan or something. I mean, Iberia, Siberia, and Africa isn't diversified. That's like three cowboy territories. All right, I should have gone harder with him in the interview <laughs> then. You put a good point forward. Viv, any excitement or appetite for Barlow World? Actually, or I, are you in his camp? <laughs> no, actually, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the opposite view here. I do think it's been quite volatile. It's come down quite you know, strongly since an earnings announcement came out a few months ago when you saw the stock drop off since then. But I do think there's a bit of upside here. It's, it's a company that doesn't have Basically, the, it doesn't, we haven't seen the full impact of that new deal they've done with Bosiris. That's going to add a whole new range of products to them that's going to allow them to actually expand into areas and gain market share that they have never had before. And that gives them a lot more upside than I would think to some of the other companies you're looking at. So I'm actually quite positive on it. Do you think that uh, Clive Thompson is doing a good job, obviously following in the footsteps of Tony Phillips? Yeah, look, I, I do think that the, the kind of where they are right now is actually very well placed to, to take... Uh, or to basically take advantage of any expansion in commodity production. And it's going to be expanding commodity production. We've seen that globally. Even though the Chinese are pulling back slightly, they're still growing strong enough that we're going to see increased demand for commodities for several years going forward. And China is growing, but also India is following them up. The Vietnamese are following them up. Africa is going to come along at one point in time. And we are going to see commodity demand be very strong for very long. And that's going to cause a company like Barlow World to do very well, I think. 125 rand. Are we ever going back to 125 rand on Barlow World? What currently trading? Uh, under 100 rand? Yeah, About I think the current price 79. is around 80. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, it's going back to 125, but it could also be going back to 25. That's <laughs> what I was talking about earlier. I was trying to be positive, not <laughs> negative on the show. Look, uh, the Bucerus thing is interesting. So that was a long wall mining equipment. That's where you basically put a massive thing underground and it chars the, uh, the coal seam underground. But ironically, I thought that Barlow World Competition, Caterpillar, they ought to have been going the other way around. But it just shows you that Caterpillar is happy with this kind of relationship down the line. I've often argued, well, why don't they do some sort of a private equity buyout or do such a thing? But I don't know. At 18 billion rand market cap, provided you can withstand the volatility, that's fine. You can ride this thing up and Before down. Before we go to Hot or Not, is it Bucyrus or Bucyrus? Uh, I, I was always pronouncing Bucyrus, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe my pronunciation no, no, is the You and I are on the same page. <laughs> Your Bucyrus is in question here. Yeah. Hot or not on Barlow World? It actually is hot for me. I do think it has, of the sector, it has probably the most upside available to it. And Paul, hot or not? No, I'm going to go with not. Mm -hmm. Too volatile. No surprise there, especially if you go with that pronunciation, Bucyrus. <laughs>